Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester. Welcome back to Single Player Survival Space Engineers. Okay. Yeah, so I've been busy. So as you can see, the giant uh, collection bowl, as I'm going to refer to it for a while, is almost done. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated, but... Eh. Oh well. Oh, crud. <laughs> yeah, we may need to lengthen the, the ship. Anyway, so, as you can see, she's <laughs> coming along very nicely. So, let's start off with the most major change to her. The refining area. As you can see, there are five rows. This will be mirrored on the other side, eventually. And, well, <laughs> yeah. The only downside is, well, I was originally going to have four lines, but then I was going to have this wasted space it, where I could have added, like, squeezed in that the fifth line, but then you wouldn't have been able to maintenance it, as in, excuse me, as in being able to run in between and then weld them all for basically if one gets damaged and is not working then you'd run up to it then weld it to make it work and so on and so forth or in the another thing I didn't consider if the um, the shipyard workers if they didn't fully finish the blocks at the shipyard and you realize this after you had taken possession of it, not that you would do that, then you would have to, well, weld it up. So, yeah, with this system, I'd say, yeah, it's, it's going to work out for all parties involved. You never know. Anyway, so aside from this, let me show you on the other side because I actually installed a gravity generator over here. What do you think? <laughs> I am so proud of this. Wrong way. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I love this. And as you can see, I finally got batteries installed in here. And I'm thinking about LCD uh, panels that say floor so-and-so and all that but the only difficulty is well there's gonna be a lot of floors <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait until I get done with the um, start at least with the civilian sector because with the or uh -oh, thanks Mike because with this I think I'm going to do a bulkhead right here and all this would be for uh, ores, while over here would be for the ingots themselves. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to lengthen this. Um, uh, what else? Oh yeah. So, if I was to fly. Straight across, you would see one of my crazier methods of measuring. There we go. So, yeah, just cut through everything just to ensure, although I didn't realize that <laughs> I have yet to even work on this section. There we go. Okay, now the reason I opted to use slopes on the reverse side is has to do with the fact that I need to save weight wherever possible. This ship is going to be massive. Even if this was a warship, I would be doing this. And I should probably well, fix this. Oh 
we go. Seamless. Plus, I really wanted to have that finished look without having this giant line right there. Because as you can see, <laughs> it looks so much better. Okay, I need oxygen before I suffocate. Whee! Okay, how are we doing in components? Uh, oh, wow. They went all the way over there. Yeah, I'd say I don't need to do another mining trip, but I like resources. I need to get this mining ship up. Then again, maybe I should start working on that. No. I could always scrap the other one, finish this, make a blueprint of it, then build it for a second time, but then, um, actually, yeah, I can do that. Then build this, at least the hull, and then I can start working on the innards, like the guts, even though, really, the only thing that would change right away would be the thrusters and ow in the reactors. Alright, this is good. This is good. I'm I'm planning. And boop. Hee <laughs> hee, I love this. Okay, I want to ensure that I weld everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Get forward. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, did I mention that I widened the ship? So really all I did was bumped it uh bumped it out one and I think this is gonna be a significant I oh wait no this is against the outer side so really you don't need to access okay Unfortunately, because we don't have times two uh, slope blocks, <clears throat> Keen. Unfortunately, this is gonna look slightly hideous, at least until I get it finished. But, oof, I like this. Anywho, so I think I'm going to end it on this note, just so that way I can get the rest of this uh, done. Also, thank you, Me I want to say Mechanized IT. I'm not sure if I went with the similar idea that you had. Um, so there's going to be 360 uh, refineries. Just did the, I just did the math in my head. <laughs> Crap, I need assemblers, though. Well, then again, this isn't a fully... Pro oh, this isn't a full production ship. I have too much time invested, so if I was to say... Oh, crap, how am I going to do the assemblers? 
Because you need to be able to access the... Oh. I'll have to work on that. Okay, there's going to be less refineries. I'm going to cut it in... Okay, so there's going to be 240. That's still a lot. Anyway, while I work out my resourcing issues, uh, I'm going to leave it on that note. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.